As scary as a giant, and I mean giant, shark can be, there are far greater hauntings in the ocean to get your fill. Whether it's a giant fishing squid or fish that can suffocate you with slime, here are 15 sea monsters that are scarier than the megalodon. A real deep sea specialist. They grow to over 7 meters long and have never been filmed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling! <laughs> Number 15. Giant Squid A squid is one of the most diverse, influential, and dangerous creatures in the ocean. With eight arms that can suction and constrict, a bird-like beak strong enough to tear through metal, and a pair of the most enormous eyes in the animal kingdom, the giant squid is a force to be reckoned with. It's as deadly as it is elusive. They're ninjas of the sea. They can also propel forwards or backwards at the same acceleration. The list goes on and on about what makes squid so fascinating, yet so dangerous. The giant squid has been around with humans for as long as recorded history. Heck, there are even cave murals that often depicted the squid as a sea monster. That's no joke. Pictures of the monstrous looking creature plague human history from the beginning of known time. It's time for the internet to have a chance, don't you think? Because of the depths of which they reside, it's usually years between giant squid sightings. What's more, the world hasn't witnessed a giant squid for years, but recently, a giant squid was captured on camera and observed. It was the first time it happened in over 15 years. Experts were beginning to wonder whether they had gone extinct, and it turns out they're still alive and well, just don't traverse shallow waters often. Number 14. The Bobbit Worm when it comes to scary monsters, worms are the most disgusting, terrifying creatures in my mind. I see worms in two lights. One, it's harmless. Two, they can kill you in some terrifying way. Since you know the title of this video, I'm sure you can all deduce the type of worm we'll cover. The bobbit worm is one of the most exciting animals on earth. I know, I know, how can a worm be scarier than a megalodon? Let me blow your mind real quick. The bobbit worm, aka Eunus aphroditois, is an overly aggressive worm that can grow to be as large as 10 feet long. To make matters worse, they're swift and possess hundreds of sharp teeth. I know what you're thinking, it's just a worm, right? If this worm takes a bite of its prey, it often slices it in half. These worms are nothing to underestimate. The horror this worm can wreak is more than just a painful bite. Its body is covered with stinging bristles that cause permanent numbness. That's right, I said permanent as in never coming back. These suckers sit at the bottom of the ocean, beneath the sand, and wait for the prey to either walk over or swim close enough to strike. It pops its head up every once in a while to survey its area and whether hunting would be fruitful or not. If so, they lie and wait for hours, days, and weeks until they finally strike and kill. Number 13. Ancient Greenland Shark Greenland sharks are native to the Arctic and North Atlantic and can grow up to 24 feet long and weigh up to 2,645 pounds. It's not their size that makes these guys so incredible, it's their longevity. Greenland sharks can live for centuries. You heard that right, that means that some of these sharks in the ocean were born before Shakespeare and still are alive and kicking. You may have recently heard about the 512-year-old Greenland shark discovered, but that story has been grossly misreported. There is no real way to get the age of sharks. Instead, they give it a range. This is easier to do with shrilled sharks, but with a shark that lives hundreds and hundreds of years, it can prove quite the challenge. The real story is that the sharks they caught are at least 200 years old, but not older than 512. This says something completely different, that the sharks might be 512 years old. That tells a different story. Either way, a 200-year-old shark is still an insane thing to think about, Think about 200 years of life for yourself, the things you'd see and the things you'd experience. This shark is one of the least aggressive shark species, but with old age comes wisdom. So who knows what these guys understand about the world, and more specifically, the ocean. Number 12. Hagfish The hagfish is suspected of having remained unchanged for millions and millions of years. Their evolution, for whatever reason, just stopped at where they are now. They are still around, so maybe there is something to that. Hagfish are considered the most disgusting animals on planet Earth. 
The eel-like creature uses four pairs of thin sensory tentacles surrounding their mouths to find food. Food usually consists of dead animal carcasses. Once they find their meal, they bore a tunnel deep into the flesh. Despite the attributes associated with the hagfish, there is nothing else like it in the ocean. Therefore, it deserves our protection. Hagfish is its technical name, but you may have heard it called a slime eel. When these guys feel in danger, they release a thick white slime cloud that makes the water incredibly challenging to swim through. As the predator gets stuck in this residue, the hagfish darts off to safety, leaving its predator and anything else swimming behind in the dust. The slime? It's terrible for the hagfish too, so it has ways of ensuring the slime doesn't impede its own escape, like nostrils forceful enough to eject the slime after it's free. The hagfish is genuinely one of the most unique living things on earth. Number 11. The Faceless Cusk Eel When scientists went out on their Sample the Abyss expedition, they didn't know what they'd find, but they knew they might not know what they do find. Using nets and sleds that sunk to the most inaccessible parts of the ocean, they dragged it behind their boat. It scraped and collected anything along the ocean floor. They pulled the sled and nets up and rifled through the find at the end of the trip. Among flesh-eating creatures, meat-eating crustaceans, zombified worms, sea spiders, and many other sea creatures that can haunt your nightmares, scientists found the most bizarre fish of all, a fish without a face. The experts say it didn't seem to have eyes or any other recognizable facial features. Upon a closer look, it indeed had tiny eyes on the underside of its head, near its mouth, but they were buried under the skin. That's right, this guy's eyeballs flip up like the headlights of an old Cord 810 automobile. How can a fish like this survive in the most dangerous part of the ocean? On top of its body, or its suspected head, was thousands of tiny sensors and hair-like appendages that sense direction and whether food is nearby. Why it had eyeballs at all now becomes the bigger mystery, as they seem to offer no usefulness to the creature. Maybe one day we'll figure it out. Number 10. The Beast of Port Talbot Sounds more like the title for a chapter book than it does anything in real life. Here's another one of those situations where the world proves it's more magical than anything we can fathom in our tiny brains. This thing has the makings of a real sea monster. Just look at the remains of this thing. It's far too decomposed and rotted for any accurate tissue samples. The massive creature's carcass was discovered by a couple walking their dog along Morpha Beach in Port Talbot, South Wales. To this day, no one has a clue what this thing could have been. It measured 11 feet long. Are the remains of some long dead sea monster here? Or are these the remains of some undiscovered species? The questions surrounding this thing are numerous. When strange things come washing up on shore, someone is usually able to test or take a good guess at what the creature could have been. The Port Talbot Beast is an exception. Experts have nowhere to start. Turns out the only way we will ever find out what the creature is is if a live one shows up on camera or is discovered. Until then, I guess we just keep on wondering. Number 9. The Big Fin Squid There's no wonder these squids are the subject of mythical monsters. The Big Fin Squid looks more like a haunting ghost than any type of sea animal. This thing looks like one of the walking monsters from War of the Worlds. That only adds to the terror that these things evoke. The Big Fin Squid is its nickname. Its actual name is the Magna Pina. As you can see, it has long fins, which take up 90% of its total body length. The largest ever seen have been 10 feet long. This is a sea monster, all right. Look at the tendrils on the body of this thing. The tendrils can grow to massive lengths. It floats about the water like a jellyfish, lowering its tendrils deep into the water. Prey doesn't see the squid, but they do see the tendrils. It's like the squid has fishing poles attached to its tentacles. When a fish swims by or takes a nibble, the squid strikes. These squids are extremely rare. They're even rarer while hunting, which is actually what is happening in the video you can see before you. The footage was taken from an underwater offshore shell oil station, where the squid can be seen in all its glory. The workers that live on the rig claim they've yet to see another. It very well could be one of the last times we see the squid, possibly forever. Number 8. The Wolf Eel The wolf eel is a unique eel. It's not related to any other eel at all. There are only five fish in the wolf eel's entire family, the wolffish family. 
Even then, the other species in the wolf species look nothing like this guy. Their body is what makes this fish look so strange. From its face to its neck, it looks like many other fish in the sea. As their neck turns into their bodies, it just keeps going and going. It's got thick muscles along the length of its body and can grow up to 8 feet. The reason it's labeled an eel is because of the way it rests and hunts. Adults contort their bodies to fit into cracks and crevices of caves, every so often sticking their head out to catch some food. This is an eel-like behavior, to recede into a rock hole and wait until the prey is near and launch out like a bullet. They have a pretty simple diet, mostly feasting on crabs, urchins, and shellfish. They swim in deep waves, much like a snake scurries across the desert floor. They are all mostly gray or blue, with ferocious looking teeth jutting out the front of their mouth like they're too big to fit. They actually resemble giant canine teeth. They have healthy teeth and jaws. If you look at its diet, you can understand why. Cracking through hard shells is a must for the wolf eel. Number 7. Killer Cone Snails These snails are some tough buggers. To survive in the harsh environment that they do, I guess they'd have to be. There are 500 different types of cone snail. All of them are incredibly toxic. Let me give you a scenario. If the snail wasn't poisonous enough on the first contact, the snail and the fish would die. This means that the toxin in the snail has to be so potent it could paralyze or kill a predator when they come into contact with them. Believe it or not, but each and every cone snail has enough toxin to instantly paralyze the attacker, some enough to kill 10 times over. The most toxic of all, the geography cone, could kill a human on contact. When harnessed, however, these toxins can be used in modern medicine. Among the many compounds found in cone snail venom are proteins that, when isolated, have enormous potential as painkilling drugs. These little guys' toxin could reevaluate the painkilling industry. Certain proteins found in the venom target specific human pain receptors instead of all, like with morphine, without any addictive properties. That could change the way we treat pain. I'm a wholehearted believer that everything we need to survive and stay healthy grows right here on Earth. It's just hard to get to sometimes, or the technology just isn't there yet. We're living in exciting times though, people. Number 6. Giant Oarfish Rarely seen at the surface, the giant oarfish is the second to the beach on California's coast in less than a week. What's going on with these rare creatures? And what is it with the rise of beached carcasses? To be honest, no one knows. So far, the best explanation is as the oceans warm with global warming, creatures roam areas they've never been to before to find comforts that they've grown accustomed to and evolved with. These aren't some small fish. These guys can grow up to 20 feet in length. The most recent to wash up on California's shores was 14 feet. Experts claim the double find can't just be a coincidence. I guess only time will tell. The internet has been buzzing about the oarfish as of late, some accurate, some not so much. To clear the air, here are some fantastic features that are true about the giant oarfish. The oarfish is the longest, boniest fish in the world that we know of. They don't taste very good. On the first discovery, they were tested for food quality. Turns out the oarfish turns into a big, disgusting lump of gelatinous goo. Tastes about the same too. They aren't dangerous, though they can grow to be massive. The oarfish only eat plankton and is in no mood for tasting humans. They are one of the only fish in the sea that doesn't have scales. The oarfish is a spectacular creature. Number 5. Red Handfish The red handfish is one of the rarest fish ever discovered. It was only just recently where experts have found a new colony of the handfish. It doubled its known population to 80 individuals worldwide. That's a tiny population if I ever heard one. They're named so because their fins look like hands. It's a pretty awesome looking fish. They're benthic ocean dwellers that crawl on the seafloor with their hands. They don't get huge. The largest known grow to sizes between 2 and 5 inches long. These fish are not built for long distance swimming. It's likely the newly discovered population is genetically varied from the other known populations and I still can't wrap my head around that there are only 80, and before the recent discovery, just 40. Could you imagine being in the ocean and finding one of these little guys? I mean, the odds are probably less than winning the lottery a few times over. It just goes to show you should keep your eye out. You never know what might pop above the surface. Number 4. 
tasseled wabagong. The tasseled wabagong shark is a medium-sized shark with a reticular pattern of narrow dark lines running along its body. They don't grow too big. The largest ever recorded was only 120 centimeters. The wabagong has one feature that makes it unique in the underwater kingdom. It has a tail shaped like a fish. Not only is it shaped like a fish, but it also is meant to act like a fish as well. When the wabagong gets hungry, he shakes his tail to coerce prey into swimming right for it. As the fish go in for what they think is the kill, the wabagong spins around and attacks. It's a ruthlessly effective technique. Clever girl. Number 3. The Frilled Shark This shark is as terrifying to talk about as it is to imagine. The frilled shark must have been the subject for many Lovecraft stories because it speaks the language of terror. With row after row after row of razor sharp teeth, the frilled shark is a ferocious predator that can slice its prey in half with its hundreds of razor sharp teeth. Though it's considered a shark, it looks more like an eel than a shark. Doesn't change the fact that the frilled shark is nightmare inducing. Very little is known about this creature's ecology. Just recently, scientists have deciphered the shark's place in the extensive aquatic food web. Before research, these animals were suspected to be too slow to capture agile prey. The study was soon proven wrong. Frilled sharks dine on squid and bony fish, some of the most elusive and quick ocean creatures. That means the frilled shark is quicker than we thought. Number 2. The Northern Stargazer These guys are some strange creatures. They're called stargazers because their eyes are positioned on top of their heads and look up. With this type of hunting strategy, think you can guess where they hunt? If you guessed by hiding on the ocean floor, you'd be right. These guys lie in wait for the prey to just swim right above them. When they're within striking range, game over. The stargazer darts out of the sand like a bullet and grabs its prey. Then it feasts and starts the whole process all over again. Stargazers possess organs that can generate electricity. Located in a specialized pouch beneath the eyes, it can discharge the energy up to a shock of 50 volts. If that's not incredible, I don't know what is. Number 1. Goblin Shark The goblin shark looks like a goblin. There's no denying it. Though that might be subjective, most images conjured when thinking goblins aren't cute and cuddly animals. It's of green, hideous, somewhat despicable monsters. Turns out the characterizations remain true, though I'd instead call it terrifying rather than hideous. Take a look for yourself. It has a shovel-like snout, chubby body, and a tail. One of the most distinctive and terrifying is its protractable mouth. The mouth can retract or extend depending on what the shark needs. While swimming, the extended mouth would drag, making it slow. While hunting, its jaw shoots out with a sudden burst of speed. It has a diet of mainly crustaceans, baby squid, and smaller fish. It's relatively harmless to humans. That doesn't mean a bite won't hurt, though. Not to mention, if I saw this thing coming at me, I'd be swimming in the opposite direction as fast as possible. The Megalodon was an impressive apex predator that once owned the seas. Today, the oceans hold more diversity much more than we ever could have suspected. As creatures continue to rise from the deep, what other types of monsters will we discover? What type of magic will we begin to understand? There is enough mystery in the deep to last 100 lifetimes, so we'll just keep chipping away. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.